What's up guys? Obviously my sickness has gotten worse and I can barely talk. Thank God I'm not doing today's video, someone else is. The topic is one of the most asked questions in beta fish keepers. And the question is, why does my beta fish always sit on the bottom of the tank? Take it away, Shishi. Hi guys, I'm Shishi and I would like to say a huge thank you to Chris for having me on his channel. And for those of you that don't know me, I am a beta breeder and enthusiast. I absolutely love this power packed little fish. And I breed a couple of other species also, um, shrimp, guppies, and I'm working on some bristle nose and possibly even some goldfish at some point, we'll see. Um, but nothing with that too soon uh, because these guys take a lot more than beta fish do. A lot more. So those of you that don't know me, you are more than welcome to come and hang out with me and come and get to know me a little bit better. Either you can come and subscribe to my channel, uh, Shishi's Bubble Nest, and um, also you can come and hang out with me on Facebook. I admin one of the pages, Green Oasis Farms, and I am there every day asking widow questions, and I'm sure you have seen me at some point or another. If it's not on YouTube, I'm sure a lot of you have seen me on Facebook in the groups, and I would love for you to come and get to know me a little bit better. So, Chris came to me with a question that has been asked a lot in the beta community and that is is why is my beta laying on the floor I feel like I can answer this question fairly simply especially if it's something that is a common behavior for your beta common behavior meaning your beta otherwise seems perfectly fine but you're catching power napping every couple of hours or so that's a typical beta fish behavior and actually it's one of the behaviors that I think is very very cute. These little fish take power naps throughout the day and you'll often find them up at the higher levels sleeping on the leaves, taking little power naps, coming up to the surface and then going back to the leaves and sleeping. That, and that's what they do in the wild. And they are not a nocturnal fish, so at nighttime they also sleep. So sometimes you may startle them and then they act crazy. But when a beta fish is actually laying on the floor of the tank as opposed to the surface of the tank, that's when I start to worry a little bit. Now, have you provided those areas at the surface of the tank for the beta to take a nap on? Or is there something a little more sinister going on? Quite often, I found that betas that are laying on the floor is sometimes just a human error or just misinformation. So the first things I want to ask is, is your beta, is his tank sufficient in size, being three gallons or more? Do you have a heater, a filter, and clean water? The first plan of action that I take anytime I see a beta laying on the floor that is not characteristically his behavior, I perform an instant water change, make sure that the tank temperature is adequate, and also make sure that the filtration isn't running too heavy for that fish. These are all factors that play into these little, these little fish who often have these extremely excessive fins that are just so heavy for them to carry around with them. It would be the equivalent of you or I jumping into a pool fully clothed and trying to swim 50 laps. It just, it's exhausting. So typically these little fish are just very tired, a little bit cold and slightly overfed. But sometimes the filtration is too heavy and you need to adjust the filtration because it just exhausts them even more. Now, if those factors aren't coming into play or you've already checked these factors, then unfortunately there may, may well be something else going on. And this is where it becomes more of a medical concern. And often it could be a combination of being overfed, causing constipation and possible swim bladder issues. 
swim bladder issues don't necessarily mean that your fish is going to either float to the surface and hang out at the surface and cannot correct himself. And it also doesn't mean that he's not going to be able to get to the bottom and he just keeps floating back up. Sometimes swim bladder disorders actually mean they cannot get to the surface and that is definitely a problem when it comes to a beta fish. Start fasting your fish for three days in order to make sure that constipation, overfeeding and swim bladder disorders are not the problem. There is absolutely a more sinister side that could potentially be part of the problems as to why your beta is laying on the floor. Now we already went over the possibility that it's constipation, otherwise your fish generally is fine, he's bright, he's healthy, he's active, but his belly's swollen, which would, you know, which would point the finger to constipation and overfeeding. But what if you have spotted ulcers or lesions or lacerations or he is very discolored, lost some of his finage? There's so many different little things that could potentially be going on here. There could be a uh, parasitic infection or there could be a bacterial infection. And knowing which one is which is generally very tough to an untrained eye and a new keeper. So if you've tried to make sure that your fish is not constipated by fasting and you've done the water change and made sure your heat is correct and you're not overexerting your fish by you know, pumping a massive filter like this going in the background of your fish tank, if you've taken those steps already and nothing seems to be working, then I would absolutely recommend you take a very good video of your fish and the way he is acting and ask for a second opinion. And you, are, like I said before, you are more than welcome to reach out to me or anybody else in the beta community. Um, Chris also, he will be able to point you in the correct direction as to, you know, the idea, the ideas of is this a bacterial or is this a parasitic infection? Should you be treating him or, or her for an infection? Or is there something else going on? Because unfortunately, a lot of times when a beta is presenting the symptoms of laying on the floor, sometimes this is because there has been a problem all along that unfortunately has gone completely undiagnosed. And these little fish are masters of disguise. Their beautiful, beautiful coloration actually hinders our ability to spot some of these conditions, such as velvet, which goes undetected. I cannot tell you how many times. And it's very, very difficult to actually spot it. Now, unfortunately, the latest stages of velvet and the latest stages of quite a few different illnesses the last stages before that fish is passing is often lethargy laying on the floor and gasping now that's not to say that that's what is wrong with your fish and like i said always always seek a second opinion especially if you su suspect that you have to treat medically because the medications itself you already have a very weak fish and then you're going to treat your very weak fish with a very, very fish with a very, very strong chemical. And that is an absolute last resort attempt to save your fish's life. And I absolutely, like I said, I absolutely implore you to reach out to make sure that treatment really is the best course of action for your fish and making sure that your fish is not just sleepy. So thank you so much for joining us and again Chris thank you for having me on your channel I really appreciate it and if you have further questions reach out to me I'm always available and for that I'm gonna leave it there have a great day and remember knowledge shared is learning twice have a good one guys